A big change has been announced to the final presidential debate, which is scheduled for this Thursday. It's all part of an effort to keep it more civil than it was the last time. Ed O'Keefe is really on top of this story for us. So, Ed, good morning to you. Very curious to hear the big change. Hey, Gail, good morning. Look, this is uh, an interesting change. Some are going to like, others will not. Unlike last time, when a candidate is answering his question for his allotted two minutes, the other candidate's microphone will be turned off. It's a risky change to what essentially amounts to the last potential turning point in this campaign, with tens of millions potentially watching. About 73 million tuned into the first debate. The president knows this, and he told reporters on his way back here to Washington last night that he will be at the debate. But he called the rules change, quote, very unfair. Because you didn't think they should have closed our country. After a contentious first meeting that led to more than 70 interruptions by the president, the new question Supreme is: Court Justice, the radical question, left, will you shut up, your, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? The nonpartisan commission on presidential debates is making a change. Under new rules announced late Monday, President Trump and Joe Biden will each get two minutes to respond to questions posed by the moderator. During those two minutes, the only person whose microphone will be on is the candidate who has the floor. Both microphones will turn on again during an open discussion period. And that should help avoid moments like this. He still refuses to even say anything to Putin about the bounty on the heads of American soldiers. Your son got and three no, no, no. million dollars. No, no. And Mr. by the way, Mr. President, my son. Wait a minute. Mr. President, your campaign agreed to both sides would get two-minute answers uninterrupted. Well, your, your side agreed to it. The commission said it discussed the changes with Trump and Biden campaign aides and that it believes the actions strike the right balance and that they're in the interest of the American people for whom these debates are held. The Trump campaign had already raised objections earlier Monday about the debate scheduled to be held at Belmont University in Nashville. Last Friday, the moderator said that the debate will cover a range of subjects, including foreign policy, but also climate change, leadership, race in America, and the pandemic. In a letter, Trump campaign manager Bill Stepien asked debate organizers to recalibrate the debate to only a discussion on foreign policy, claiming it had been led to believe that would be the only focus. In a statement, the Biden campaign said the president is afraid to face more questions about his disastrous COVID response and is more concerned with the rules of a debate than he is getting a nation in crisis the help it needs. Remember, this was supposed to be the third presidential debate, but the second was canceled after the president refused to appear virtually after his COVID diagnosis. And we should reiterate, the new rules only cut off a microphone while the other candidate is answering his two-minute question. If anything, guys, perhaps it will force a little more listening. I know, Ed, let's talk about that for a second, because it does seem like a, a fair compromise. You get a full two minutes uninterrupted, and then you get the chance to engage if you think your opponent is saying something that you think is absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So other than what you're hearing from the President Trump's camp, what's been the reaction so far? I mean, look, th this was the reaction a lot of people had after the first debate. Why not implement a mute button of some kind or some kind of penalty uh, towards either of them if they interrupt? Biden interrupted the president as well, just not as often. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, clearly the Trump campaign made their objections known. The Biden campaign says they'll be there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, now you know when you're going to be on mute. Now yeah. you know. Say, say a prayer for the audio guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they may be very busy that night. Ed O'Keefe. How many more days, Ed? I miss your little whiteboard. 14. Uh, 14 right. more days. Two weeks from today, we will Get be ready. ready. Thank weeks. you, Ed O'Keefe. Two weeks Take on care. the nose. Yeah. All right.